Theater Moo has really hit uh, the jackpot with having Randy follow in Rick Shiomi's awesome shoes. There's a kind of warmth and genuine integrity about Randy Reyes that makes, I think, people respond to him. He brings his own natural gifts that are um, about always about empathy and communication. I think Randy has a real commitment to people, to young people, to older people, to all people. It's that whole thing about inclusiveness. As an artist, being able to imagine the breadth of humanity that we perform for, there's got to be a lot of compassion in your soul, and Randy's got that. I went to school in the Philippines. I was born there. Uh, there was a competition for the first graders to read uh, or perform a poem out loud in English. Um, I did Captain No Captain. Um, I got applause. I felt really comfortable. Uh, I won the competition. I thought, this is a nice feeling. I think I might have a, I might want to do this again. I didn't take it very seriously in high school. I was doing it for fun. I knew I enjoyed it. I didn't know that people can make a living doing this. I didn't know that there was an art form to it. I just got away with whatever I got away with and enjoyed it and liked the social aspect of it. But my drama teacher sent a video of me to Ken Washington at the University of Utah and he accepted me with scholarship. And that training program really showed me what the art form of theater was. And then I was like, oh, this is actually, you can make a career out of this. That's when I started to take acting seriously. Ken Washington was running the program at the University of Utah. When I got into Juilliard, Ken was also teaching um, at Juilliard. So he taught me my, my first year at Juilliard. And then he left to take the job at the Guthrie. He started um, in a, a program there called the Guthrie Experience for Actors in Training. You go to the Guthrie, and you get the experience of a regional theater and you train there and you do a show um, that you create with your ensemble. So I got into, so Ken started that Guthrie experience and then I participated in the second Guthrie experience and that's when I met Joe Dowling and, uh, and started my relationship with the Guthrie. The real first professional job after Juilliard was um, School for Scandal at the Guthrie that Joe was directing. It was quite remarkable, actually, because here was this very young guy, um, still in school, um, and he stole every scene that he was in. So while I was there, um, Joe was casting for Midsummer Night's Dream, the tour, and I got cast in that. Midsummer is kind of the role for him. Give me your hands if we'd be friends. And with Brandy, you feel like you are his friend. It, it just comes across in a very genuine way. On the first go off, Randy's job as Puck was to come out and sort of tease the audience a bit before we started the play. And when he came out, his first thing was, Hello, St. Cloud! And the audience just instantly fell in love with him. After that, I think I was still in New York, and, and New York was a love-hate relationship. I needed a change. I was going into my 30s, and I was like, I can't live like this. And so um, I talked to Joe, and Joe um, was saying, if you're thinking about moving here, there's a position for you, a possible position for you in the education department as the theater and education director. Well, it was very clear from the beginning that this was an exceptional um, artist, both as an actor and also because of um, the way he thought and the way he, he had been trained um, as a possible teacher. And I seriously... Um, considered that and I said yes I would do it and um, and made the big decision to move out of New York and move to the Twin Cities. In the 10 years that I was in New York um, I had never found an Asian American theater home and I thought coming out of Juilliard I'll be a trained Asian American actor surely and there's like five Asian American theater companies. But when I went to Minneapolis, Rick was so, just like accepted me with open arms, like anything you want, let this. And, uh, and that's the first time, and it's surprisingly, it took me moving to Minneapolis to find my Asian American theater home. When I met him, he was very excited to work with Moo. And so he actually did a, a workshop um, with some of our actors in which he worked with some material. And I was really surprised um, by how 
um, lovely the work was and how, how well he got performances from the actors that he was working with. I thought right away that he was somebody of interest truly uh, from Wu's point of view. Rick was like, do you want to direct Circle Around the Island by Marcus Canones and it's going to be um, at the Guthrie's Dowling studio. And I had never directed a professional production before. After the fact, I realized that he had never directed before. And then as it turned out, he did a wonderful job of working with uh, Marcus and, and the play. And then from that point on, I realized he had this wonderful multiple layers of capability as a director, as an actor. And later, we realized that he had a lot of good organizational skills as well. Rick approached me to apply for a TCG, Theater and Communications Group Fellowship, where I would where he would be mentoring me as artistic director. We worked together. I ran him through the experiences uh, of, of running a company. I felt at the, throughout that process that, that he had the makings of someone who could lead a company. Um, prior to that, it was just, oh, I'm learning about the company, I'm getting opportunities, I'm still directing, but never thinking, oh, I'm going to lead, I'm going to be the next leader of this company. I still feel like Rick has at least five more years in the company, and he talks about retirement. But we wanted to go through an official process to officially sort of go through a search process for my successor, and as it turns out, Randy was the person they picked. One of Moo's big missions is to develop Asian American artists. Having Mu as a home, I was able to, to, I'm still working on that identity and what that means and what does that mean to be not only an artist, but an Asian American artist. So I feel very lucky and I'm, I'm, I'm so thrilled that I'll be able to continue to deepen that and also bring a, other Asian American artists along with me um, through this, this movement that, that, that it's still very complicated and still very young, that there's still a lot to learn about this community and what it can do. I really feel it's important that someone like Randy is taking over the leadership of Moo because he has the artistic vision, he has the theatrical talent, both as an actor and a director, and I think that that's going to be exciting for the company, and I think that that's going to be important. So I'm just so excited that Randy's going to take over. <laughs>